in case anyone else has taken on this project, um, I'll be using um, uh, Mr. Barr's um, stepwise guy to do this and his call signs NA8Y. Um, and I have a link to that, um, uh, his uh, very good document um, at the bottom of the video here. Um, so pretty much this is what, what you'll need. Um, he made a great recommendation actually about mapping out where all your screws go. Um, because you know they're, they're machined and um, they all appear the same size but actually if you look at them some of them are countersunk some aren't um, and it's just it's a it's a more um, rigorous way of doing it to ensure the right screws go back into the right holes so there's no mix-ups at the end um, this is the replacement resistor here um, and uh, these will be the, the the wires that will run off and um, essentially the post that will be left behind by this resistor um, once it's taken out and the new resistor will actually be um, bolted onto the side of the case here and um, we'll have to drill a small hole for that and this is the small nut and bolt that will hold it in position now the experience seems to be that the, the case is enough of a heat sink for the resistor um, and it takes the heat away from the board completely by, by going through this process um, so yeah, so you'll need you know a wire a snips, uh, wire strippers, um, obviously a, a screwdriver um, with the appropriate Phillips heads to take the casings off the board, uh, some heat shrink tubing, just to cover up the joins at the end. Um, again, reflecting on on the document, um, you know why take the chance of uh, other things coming into contact with with the any exposed wire, um, obviously solder, soldering iron. Um, and um, I, I've used the multimeter already and just checked the resistance across both resistors under the same. They're in and around 9, 9.2 um, and uh, should be good to go. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to get on with it now and um, uh, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> So one of the guys gave me a bit of advice that if I was going to go ahead and do the soldering just to put some cardboard or something underneath the area you're going to solder just to stop um, any excess flowing down onto the board potentially causing any problems with other components so that's what that's for so that's the the wires soldered onto the resistor, the replacement one, the heat shrink, um, just to tidy it up. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get on now and solder it to the board. So this is it on now. Um, so all I have to do now is bolt it onto the side of the casing and we'll see how it goes um, I just hope the soldering is good enough okay so that's the solder joins there and it's resistor in place there where you can see that little nut and I've just coloured the screw just so I can identify it or you know it's ever passed on that they know that's different from the rest just to help um, mark it out from the other um, screws that um, uh, 
fix the casing on. Okay, so now it's time to fire it up and see what happens. Okay, so resistors in, radios on. Seems to be receiving well. The radio is working fine. Um, 